Felicia Wood. I'm a textile artist from Long Branch, New Jersey. Code Anime is different than other works I've made. I had to realize that my audience is finally more so my intended audience. And my intended audience is black and brown communities, communities of women, communities of queer people. And so maybe it's not a theme, but it's more of a feeling. You know, we go through such a complicated existence and it is so hard to summarize that. And it's more about, I don't know, just like feeling better, right? Feeling good, feeling empowered, feeling in control, autonomous and the tapestries and thinking about the me in the present or, you know, this post, once I went to college me, right? And kind of it came into this idea of my body and like who I am as a person. And the tough things are all about figuring out from, you know, birth until right that high school point of figuring out how girlhood um, impacted um, my life and also just how I understand girlhood in and of itself. When we think about social media's relationship right now we can kind of see it as kind of like a cult following or almost akin to religion um, when we think about who we are dedicating our time to our energy to and it started becoming okay well let's challenge that relationship and using the catholic iconography the cross the halos sacred hearts stagmatas all of these different things kind of are just to trick the viewer into engaging by using something familiar um, but also forcing people to kind of stop and question, well, why do I think this way? You know, the thing that's been really interesting for me is, you know, I make Black art about Black female queer experience, but I'm also just one person and my experience is so specifically mine. Um, but we're all so connected in that way. And so what I just hope is that someone finds something in the show that they can see within themselves and that is helpful and healing. Or maybe for some people on the opposite side of that, for some people, I hope that they want to investigate something um, within themselves or challenged by the work and kind of their way of thinking, their relation to um, black women and their bodies. I think that's a really big part of it as well.